stem cell treatments are becoming more popular. And until a few years ago, we used our own stem cells. We call them autologous stem cells. And you can go and get those harvested from your fatty tissue and bone marrow, and then they would concentrate those and infuse them again into you. The issue with these stem cells, with our own stem cells, is that they're as old as we are. And um, you know, when you think of stem cells when you're born, about one in 10,000 cells is a stem cell, which is fantastic. When you're in your 50s or 60s, it's closer to one in a million. So we have a lot less, first of all. But also they're old because when you think of when you're born, the stem cells are already sort of in their 30s. Think of them as architects and contractors and workers that can repair and fix things. And they're very good at this. They're at the peak of their profession. Now, when you're older, let's say you're in your 50s, then your stem cells that you're born with, now they're in their 80s. So they're slightly demented. They don't recognize things as well anymore. They get lazy. Instead of fixing your roof, they put buckets under there to catch the rainwater. They're just not as good as they were. And that's a big issue. So one, you have less of them. And the second thing is the ability to repair is not very good. But there's something beyond that. Now, very young stem cells that we're born with are very smart. And they can recognize, for example, cancer cells. And they would actually trigger that cancer cell to uh, kill itself. It's called apoptosis. So they're very good at getting rid of even cancer cells. Now, these are the newborn cells, right? Our own cells, again, they are old and demented, and uh, they might actually support cancer cells, you know? So this is actually a huge difference between um, umbilical cord uh, stem cells, which is something that I do in my clinics, versus using your own stem cells, which are not so smart anymore. There are huge differences uh, in their efficacy, but also in their ability to identify things and repair things. So um, in my clinic, I do umbilical cord stem cells, and these mesenchymal stem cells are newborn stem cells. They are harvested from umbilical cords of healthy C-section births. And it has to be a C-section, and that has to do with the birth tissue is not allowed to go through the birth canal, and that has to do with contamination. Then uh, this tissue usually is thrown away. But now there's companies coming in and they're harvesting this uh, and they're using the umbilical cord, the cells in there uh, in order, you know, they, they extract the cells, they concentrate them, and then they freeze them. They cryogenically preserve them. And then, um, you know, they get tested, of course, the whole tissue gets tested, make sure there's no communicable diseases, make sure the mom is healthy, baby is healthy, and all these things are very well documented here in the U.S. That's why I'm a very big fan of, you know, doing it here. Or if you go outside of the country, just make sure that they have everything in order in terms of how they're harvesting their cells. Here's very strictly controlled by the FDA, of course, and this testing is very thorough. And then we can use these cells, we can infuse them, we can give them intravenously. Sometimes they're also given directly into the, into the joint. But these cells are smart and they can repair, they can fix, again, very different than our own cells, which are very old and uh, not as good anymore. So these young cells, I think, are much more capable and much better at fixing things.